One of my favorite uh, quotes from spiritual author is Anne Lamott, who says, um, each time I calculate the cost of following Christ, I'm always surprised when the bill comes. <laughs> and I think that these readings lend themselves to that. That in the first reading, um, we hear, love your neighbor, and we calcul calculate the cost of doing that, right? We say, okay, well, I know who my neighbor is. And then Jesus says, well, actually, it's not just the people in your city. Uh, it's the people on the border. Or maybe it's the people in Haiti. Or maybe it's the people in prison. Or maybe it's the people in the other political party. We say, well, I've got to recalculate the cost then, Jesus, if that's what it means. The gospel reading uh, Jesus, he's on his way to Jerusalem. He knows the cost. He's known the cost since he began his ministry. And his disciples still haven't calculated the cost. As many times as he sat them down and said, think about this. You haven't quite added it up right. Your math is wrong. They still don't get it. And so he gives them this great saying about sitting down and really taking stock of things, calculating the cost, Right? of what it means to follow Jesus. Part of the Christian life, I think, is, is having to calculate the cost over and over again, and maybe not just in dramatic ways. You know, I, I think for Ignatius, when he had his conversion, his cannonball moment, um, he calculated the cost of following Jesus. And he had great desires. And he said, I'm going to go convert people. I'm going to lead people to God. I'm going to go to the Holy Land. I'm going to work with the poor. Years later, they said, well, Ignatius, actually, we want you to work behind a desk. You know? uh, and he spends, he has to calculate the cost. Wait a minute. I added this up. <laughs> I added this up back in Loyola. And the math looked completely different, right? I'm looking at these Jesuits here who are sort of smiling because each of them calculated the cost in the novitiate and said, well, I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> and they're doing something most times completely different than they ever imagined, right? I'm sure those lay colleagues joining us uh, calculated the cost differently at times too. So the good news is that, that we all have to do that. We all get our math wrong from time to time. We all have to go back and recalculate the cost of following Jesus. But that's part of the Christian life. Maybe one way to, to do that, and this just comes to me from the first reading and our readings this weekend, is to, to calculate the cost is, is to look at the things we love in our life. Um, there's a book, it's an average book, so don't read it. It's a collection of stor stories, but the great title is what I like. And it says, um, the title is, My Heart is Such an Idiot. And I love that title because my heart's an idiot, you know. And, and, but really, to be human is to have a heart. And to have a heart is to love things. And sometimes we love the wrong things. And we have to step back and look at what we love. And it helps to know that ultimately the things we're supposed to love are things with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. And so when we step back and say, do I, well, do I love my iPhone like that? No. <laughs> you know? Um, but I do love God like that, hopefully. I love my family like that. I love my partner, my spouse, my children. Um, but there are things sometimes that creep in there that we can love with all our heart and mind and soul that are not helpful. Uh, we can love our career with all our heart and mind and soul. Uh, we can love power with all our heart and mind and soul. We can love privilege with all of our heart and mind and soul and not really be aware of it. And so we have to sit down from time to time and calculate the cost. And sitting quietly with the Lord and saying, what do I love with all my heart and soul and mind? It's got to be the Lord, number one. It's got to be God, and it's got to be my family, and it's got to be my neighbor. It's got to be my Jesuit brothers, right? Those are the things we're called to love with all our heart and mind and soul. When we don't do that, we get off track. So let's pray tonight for the grace to sit down and calculate the cost. Thanksgiving for God who allows us to sit down and recalculate when we get the math wrong. Um, 
just ask for that grace to, uh, to love more freely and openly, even when that cost is high. For this we pray to the Lord. Glory, glory, glory.